However, what awaits us ahead was that person's sick practical joke and casual malice. Oh, apparently we're just going to Twitter. Clearance level D and an extra one. Disposable one. Well, since we already came in from the uh, the other side, we know that's a one. Is Where there? Are we? I wonder if this is also a one. Hmm. No, oh, this is the only way to get here today as well because this blockade's here right now. Let's check the map. We'd have to go down a floor and then across to come up here and check this stuff. I think we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do that. When that is Twitter, what is Tumblr? I don't know. They're all the same terrible Cleone. hell holes to me. Maybe this will come. Maybe for the bits of them. Watch out! Ah. Can we wait for the eventual anime? I. We should mark it. I mean, I could, I could see something good being done out of this. Um, assuming it gets the appropriate structure and duration. Cleone! God damn it, man! You hold that X for just a moment too long. All right, everyone up to middle age. Waiting for my chance. Won't get away. Concentrate. No. 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 Yeah. 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 Did it. I'll take it. Lucky me. Damn, gold monkey, but none of the good drop no I was hoping for. Around. Waiting for my chance. Get away. No. No. Yeah. Hey, Cubby, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we want to go over to this side. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, goddamn mimic. I see you, goddamn mimic. Waiting for my chance. They won't get away. Concentrate. No more messing around. No. 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 Oh, 15 to kill it. Wow. So close, not quite. <clears throat> the mirror I straight up lied. Oh, it's very, very likely the mirror I straight up lied. Waiting for my chance. Won't get away. I mean, no it was around. all Mamoru anyway. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember getting stuck right. here uh, as you were just away. punching one of these to death so we could actually move. We need this, right? Man, game giving out strengtheners like candy. That's not the Oh yeah, that was all a lie. Hell, the, the extend machine was fully functional from the beginning. It being broken was a lie as well. Look at the map. The only thing Extend TV didn't lie about was, uh... Let's activate this. Hmm. Well, at least that closes that. Yeah, the only thing Extend TV didn't lie about was actually our pasts. Though this does mean we can thank Mamoru for the amazing jokes. Because he wrote them all. They won't get away! Concentrate! No more messing Waiting around! Waiting for my chance! Maybe this will come in handy. Oh, another level one, maybe? Found it. Yep, another disposable one. What's this? And a life jacket. Difficult to get back to the garage with that. Ooh, uh, you seen the other stuff we're carrying? You sure about that? Whoa! So say that like looks like you could jump across, but 
Sadly, no one seems to want to. Come on, put your legs into it. We should mark it. We could take the long route around. Nah. Not doing that right now. Where are we? I think I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this instead. I think that puts us on the other side of it, and we have uh, we have another one. Waiting for my chance. Won't get away. Concentrate. No more messing around. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Seems so strange to me that uh, once you remember that, why would they lie about removing the aging effect? Oh yeah, it was absolutely motivation to get people to actually get their asses moving. Give them hope so you can take it away later. Is this it? There was some industrial adhesive. Waiting for my they chance. Get away. Concentrate. No more messing around. No. No. Concentrate. See if we can take that arm out. Concentrate. They won't get away. Waiting for my chip. Yeah. Can't help but imagine Mama singing passionately Beyonce songs at karaoke, right? I mean, this means that the the Magnum for Beyonce, all of this stuff was actually Mamaru. And as someone pointed out, this means he spent time hunched over a computer, writing these jokes and laughing to himself. I need to find a restroom. How does someone describe it? The uh, villainy behind the scenes isn't glamorous. The destination is. All right, so we are heading back down. Yes, there's no love thinking about the villain behind the scenes. There's no love in that. Yeah, his reference game was on point too, so apparently he's a bit of a nerd. Get away. Alright, Yuma needs the bathroom. Everyone's getting kind of old. Are we? I'm back at the main uh, section. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and trundle back home, unload stuff, etc. Behold. I keep holding X just that hair too long, and it's like, mm, nope, you clearly meant it. No, I didn't. Stop it. Stop it. One Sasimata. The worst thing is, I think there was something else that required it, too. No, maybe it was one of the uh, late stage weapons. Yeah, the, oh, the shock lance. Oh, oh no. Do I do this instead of the longbow? This might be the only way to get a better uh, piercing weapon for Yuma. Pretty much nothing is, like, pierce is really minimal. There's not a lot of it. We could do that. That would be a nice gain for uh, Minamo. It's a chunk stronger than her current. That's probably going to be slashing. It's hard to say, though. Fire Axe Knife, though, probably going to be slashing. Where the fuck am I going to get more laundry pulls? I haven't seen any respawn. Bist stick. Did I get to shoot my rifle? I did. We actually shot Monokuma full of holes. It's, um, it's pretty nuts. However, there's clearly a different gun, because under materials, these, I made them once as a test before uh, reloading, these are a separate ammunition type that's not used by the rifle, which means somewhere out there, there's another gun, and it's not on our crafting list, so it has to be found. Well, I'll tell you what, we just saved. Let's make the shock lance and uh, and take a look and see. Uh, quick check, though. I'm looking at what the industrial adhesive is used for. Oh, it's used in a lot of the armor. We haven't had much of that drop, using two of it for... 
Uh, I don't know that I want to use two of it for the uh, that weapon upgrade. Given that we only have the three. A lot of curiosity. Let's at least see what this brings to the table. I did it. Electric attack, power charge, and extra score. 101 base. 50 upgradable. So not necessarily what I'd call top tier then. Still, 150 on it with electric and power charge. I mean, I would put that above, uh, certainly above upgrading the uh, Blazing Bamboo Lance. Does power charge mean again? I think it means that the charge attack damage is boosted. Yeah, charge power is boosted. Quick charge, power charge, and recharge are together are just brutal. That's what makes the claymore so damn mean. Yeah, Quick Charge charges faster, Recharger has less cooldown after a charge attack, and Power Charge just makes it hit harder. Does this mean there's an AK? It might be, or it might be like a Magnum. Or just a big juicy handgun of some sort. Can you imagine if we made the U-Magnum real? Now the question is, is that really what we're going to use our Sasamata for? Are we going to say no Longbow? The longbow is 110 base attack, um, plus 50 in upgrades, and has heat element on it. To be fair, though, when it's come down to just having to rifle a lot of shots off, the regular bows are actually not doing too bad. Plus the rifle. How many strengtheners do we have? We well, got 59. We could go ahead and just max it out for her. <clears throat> Didn't think anything like you have some work to focus on now. Five weeks is going to go uh, by fast or anything. Oh, I'm well aware. It's why uh, after I finish this and a few outstanding uh, review obligations, um, I'm probably going to be a ghost for most of May. It's not ideal, but I think it's going to be necessary. Still going to find places to fit some streams in though. Shh, don't tell anyone. Admittedly, the um, the early starts and stuff lately are probably a response to just an internalized response to the fact that I'm going to have to cut back. It's like, all right, if I got to cut back, I'm going to front load. All right, I think until we make a real decision on that, let's uh, not keep that. Even if I find another Sasamata, I'm just going to want to make more longbows. As long as you keep streaming, I'll still be here. Probably be here even if you aren't. Oh, I'll still be streaming. I'm going to have to settle into a new schedule, but uh, I have spent five years building this show. And uh, <laughs> there are even... Straight up, there are provisions for it in my contract. I am, I am not walking away from my business. Actually, is everyone arranged properly? Minamo and Sachika, last combo left for her. Is anyone in the middle of... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull that. Since Ryo is the last one she needs. Yuma and Ryo... Minimo Haruto. All right, they're bunked up. Minimo Sachika, or Mamoru Sachika, Minimo Haruto, and they're, wait, are they done? I wish I could check more easily from inside here. Or hell, even see what their levels are in here. OK, 
Okay, Raven Yuma, yep. Okay, they're not done. That's what I need to know. I hate that it undoes it, so I can't go in, make changes, and then double check stuff. I gotta come back in and reset all of it again. Which actually, I'm gonna add that to my list. Alright, sleep until you're dead, Good folks. Night. Say the best for last. Well, not intentionally, but now that we know what we know, I'm really curious to see how their events are going to be. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to throw the retweet link out. Do me a favor, raise noise signal boost. And that is how the niche streams grow. I thank you very much to those who've already done so today. It is much, much appreciated, especially since we started early. I tend to avoid starting out of hours, but um, fuck it. Today, I want to finish this. Oh, my eyebrows all furrowed. Something wrong? No. Just doing some thinking. Hmm. Let me guess, it's about food, isn't it? Shut up! I but so you hope there was still such a thing as law and order. <gasps> sorry, sorry, I was just kidding. So, what were you thinking about? <sighs> yep, that's the look that says it would be pointless to talk to you about it. And you know, saying things out loud can help you sort out your thoughts sometimes. You wouldn't have to try, right? Just think of it like you're talking to yourself. Then? I was thinking about clones. Hmm. As in us? Yes. As beings which can be replicated, are our copies truly the same as our original selves? Hmm. I think I see. Hmm. If I'm not the same as my original, what is the meaning in the existence of the me who is here now? How closely should I follow the villain's sense of duty the original self lived by? Rather, is there even a need to do so? Furthermore, at what point did I start being the original me, and how far separated am I from there? How many degrees of Kevin Bacon do you suppose it takes in this world now? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Not a problem. I am merely talking to myself. Uh. And then I have some things to say to myself, too. Near Yuma, isn't that enough? Huh? What? Yeah. No one can replace someone else, and right here, right now, you're here in front of me, Yuma. And that's all I know. Hmm. Hmm. I did not expect you to try dismissing it all with such a plain sentiment. My bad. Uh, sorry for being so plain. No. Oh, it is fine. I do feel slightly better. What? Uh, did you say something, Yuma? Who knows? I said I am hungry. The opposite of overtime is crunch because you get paid for overtime. Uh, yeah. Good morning. You know the truth. Good night. I wonder if this trophy we're hitting like a year in the ruins. Aww. What a long day. I just want to go, yeah, right now. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but I could definitely use a beer right now. Having a beer after I finish proofreading. I drink it down with that sense of accomplishment. <laughs> How can you say that? Talking about that stuff is downright criminal. You're making me miss the taste of a cold drink after a shift, too. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I can just picture you taking a big gulp of beer right after work. What? Uh, yeah, well, I guess so, right. Nothing like a drink after work. And that sense of fulfillment after a hard day's work made it taste all the better. Oh, no. Oh, no, I really want a drink now. This is a serious crime, you know. I should arrest you right now. No. Wait, wait. That's a malicious arrest. I'll contact the media and spread this to the world. What? No, no, you're the one abusing your authority. That's a violation of the anti-nuisance ordinance. But... This is an abuse of power. I've done nothing wrong. All I said was I wanted to drink. It's not like I illegally brewed my own alcohol. Oh. Naruto. Huh? What? I really didn't do anything. Yeah. And that's it? And if we don't have any, we can make some. Yeah. We'd just be doing experiments in some remote island. We ain't really breaking any laws. That's awfully convenient. Alright. Alright, let's make some alcohol then. I should have paired these two together in the first place. Well, all we really need to do it is put some yeast and something high in sugar and ferment it. A-okay. 
Great, we know what to do, so let's get to gathering tools and ingredients. Now what's with that look? You don't want to do it? I'm already fired up. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Seeing you all excited has made me want to do it rather than worrying about this or that. Let's do this. I want to have a beer after a hard day's work too. Let's do it, Minamo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Amy, what's up? Let's How you feeling, do man? This. Time for Project A to begin. Let's do this. So, if the Project A alcohol is incredibly bad and uh, knocks us out, it does become Project A Co., doesn't it? When you have to reach too far for the joke, and then you realize no one's going to get it anyways. Now that I think about it, Sachika, have you been keeping up with maintenance? What? Mm, maintenance for what? <laughs> Your prosthetics, of course. You need to properly dry them whenever you get water or sweat on them. Oh, thank you, Fatty. If you don't clean them regularly, it could lead to rust. I know! Who's gonna be allergic to alcohol? Well, in theory, none of us, since we've all found that bottle of sake and drank it except for Sachika. So it could be her. Oh, right! My, my. Sounds to me like you haven't been doing your standard upkeep. Uh -huh. No, but it's not like I never do it. I do take them off and check them whenever I remember to. Don't. That's not good enough. You need to always do maintenance unless you can't for whatever reason. That's right. Don't worry, I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. I'm only saying this because I'm concerned. Wouldn't you be troubled if your prosthetic stopped working? And if you suffer because of it, it'll make us all sad too. Well... Um... You mean this is love? That's love. Yes, this is absolutely love. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. I'll do maintenance as much as possible. <laughs> Not as much as possible. Every day. Uh, uh, mm, you're so strict, Mamoru. Well, knowing what we know, that, that did seem like a very appropriate scene for them. Good morning. Good night. Man, they're all going to die at the same time, and it's going to be just a ginormous loot pinata. All right. No, oh, about Project A. Excuse me. I've been wondering, what does the A stand for? Mm -hmm. Alcohol, yeah. Why do you ask? No. I mean, it's just so direct. It's something some old guy would say, like my shitty chief editor. Now, now. Who cares? As the owner of a local cafe once said, a rose by another name would smell just as sweet. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. Anyway, I talked to you about how we can make Project A a success. Eh? The best kind of pinata? The problem is it's all my loot. Yuma, that's a bit unexpected. You'd think so, when she's pretty knowledgeable and knows things about all sorts of food. Though she told me about a type of alcohol from South America that's made with corn. Huh. Ah, corn, huh? Well, I've got some pretty interesting info, too. I talked to Zen and thought about how we could make wine from grapes. I never knew this, but he told me there's a type of yeast on grape skin that helps make wine. Nice! Great. Our project is definitely making progress. Soon we'll be able to enjoy a drink after work. But we got a lot of problems to solve first. We'll need a fermentation container and a way to adjust temperature. It has to be distilled, too. We may also have issues finding ingredients. We'll need a lot of them where to make enough to drink. Just don't tell anyone else. In this environment, it'll get contaminated with all sorts of bacteria while brewing. I know, right? Potatoes. We've seen potatoes before around here. Stop, stop. Naruto, your brows are furrowed like crazy. Don't stress yourself out over it. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I got carried away. Yeah. Producing alcohol ain't about theory, it's about heart. Well, you brew yours with heart, and I'm gonna brew mine non-bacterially. The cafe owner once said your state of mind can make drinks taste better. No. Well, theory is important too. Who the heck is that cafe owner anyway? How to brew a deathly toxin 101. Oh god, to be fair, Minamo has cooked all of our poison dishes, so yeah. Anyway, how about that corn one? Does it seem easy to make? The thing is... About that, Yuma wouldn't tell me how to make it for some reason. She had this hard look on her face. I'll have to get her talking next time. Hmm. I see. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Well, I'll go ask her with you next time. 
Either way, we made some good progress, so let's rest for today. <clears throat> huh? Damn, I think this officially means that Zen is the first to complete all available bonding. Zen. Psycho-sociopathic Zen. I guess he's our boy. At least we won't die from it twice. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, if the alcohol's so bad it kills us once, we should come back with a resistance. Oh, crap. We've been talking for a while. That's true. I'm starting to get sleepy. But I really enjoyed your farming stories. And I wish I could grow a flower from its seed again. Hmm. The right plans? We could grow them in the dirt here. I should look more seriously into getting fertilizer. I thought we had an entire outhouse worth. By fertilizer, do you mean that? You know. Not like we have any other options. It's the quickest and easiest way. I guess we do have the option to use uh, humans or animals, but... <clears throat> hey! Hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm? Huh. I'll sleep. It's been so hot out today. Maybe I'm exhausted. Good grief. Oh, I'm surprised. Right in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> I guess I just felt so relaxed. Hey, we use the outhouse plenty now that it doesn't look like the inside of a highway McDonald's. Now that I think about it, I was pretty happy about what you first said to me. First, what was that? When you told me I was too formal and needed to lighten up. Yeah. Oh, right. That. Oh, that made you so happy? I guess I really don't know how to brighten your day. Rather. I suppose it is a strange thing to be happy about. <sighs> no kidding. My name is a compliment. <laughs> yes, but I do have my reasons for being happy about it. It's because you told me to lighten up that I realized I need to open up more. What? Huh. More of a positive thinker than I thought. Yes! It's all thanks to you being so direct with me. Thank you, Zen. I'm so glad. Wait, did you fall asleep? I gotta catch a cold. Oh well, guess I'll just put a blanket over you. <sighs> Good. Good night. Hmm? <clears throat> hey, what's up, Yuma? You got that look on your face again. Uh, you thinking about the meaning of your existence or something again? No. Oh, I am just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's more like the Yuma I know. <laughs> How rude. You make me sound as if all I ever do is think about eating. Nope. Um, but that's sort of how I picture you. Hmm. Since there are no laws to turn to, I think I will resort to violence now. What? No, no way. Violence is never the answer. I was just messing with you. Now you're sure you're not troubled by something? That's... I would be lying if I said I am not. As long as we live, we will never totally be free of all worries. Ah, uh. oh, okay. So, what's weighing on your mind today, then? Right. Plans to capture animals alive and keeping them as livestock, as a means of securing a source of food. Also, efficient meal planning for optimized calorie intake. Mm. Yeah, that's more like the Yuma I know. New Shigabane tried Yuma's patience. Right, so you really are just thinking about eating? No. No, those were the thoughts on how we can stay alive here. In other words, plans for survival. This is not simply about eating. Besides, eating can be thought of as a form of entertainment. Consuming for survival's sake is the sustenance of life. It is nothing like the act of eating. I mean, not entirely wrong. It's like this. Oh, I don't really get it, but I think I can understand. What I got from all that is you seem the most lively and happy when you're thinking about food. Huh? How did you arrive at that conclusion? Oh, forget it. Just get ready, you What? Ready for what? <laughs> what else? To entertain me by accompanying me for dinner. And then she ate Ryo. Here goes attack power is so strong she managed to even break through to Zen's feelings. Ah, oh, to be fair, his defense was garbage. Oh dear. Well, middle-aged Zen. Good thing we didn't hit uh, old Zen right around here. This feels sort of strange. What? 
that roundabout criticism of me. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. It's just that it's strange being here next to you right now. Uh-huh. Huh. Oh, you regret being here? No, I don't. Are you asking me questions on purpose? Good morning. It's official. Zen has slept with everyone. Like, how did that happen? <clears throat> wow, Minamo's nearly gone through everyone, too. So is Yuma. We're nearly... Well, except for... Our... Actually, uh... Oh! Huh. Haruto's actually further along than uh, Mamoru is. Barely, but his plow has been busy. I mean, he has threatened to plow everyone at some point in time, I swear, and I guess he made good on it. Well. I think all the other current pairings are still active. So Rinko's gonna have to sleep alone tonight. It was fuck Mamoru for a while, but Haruto was dead for much longer. Yeah, I th uh, did we bunk Zen with Mamoru before? I don't know. He inherited it from his grandpa. Oh, God. Oh, that's just, oh no. <laughs> Yoshioko, sorry. I, I had to, I had to, I had to start early. I had so much, so much I wanted to get through in the game today. There's a lot to do. In fact, since it's coming up on uh, regular, well actually when I hit regular start time, I'll put out a fresh tweet. It's mostly been bonding and uh, and, and Sachika sleeping with Minamo. Oh, God. Yeah, Minamo had a crisis of conscience. As both a cop and a big sister for sleeping with Sachika. All right, well, continue sleeping towards your deaths. Good night. Dr. Mamoru. Remember when you told me to do proper maintenance for my prosthetics? Yeah. I do. What about it? Why? I was wondering how you know so much about them. Is it because you're a doctor? Hmm. hmm. I wouldn't say all doctors are knowledgeable about these things. That smug smile, we know why he knows. Most of what I know about prosthetics come from mystery novels. Well. Hey, what's that? Now's your chance to chat. Twitch is now adding 10% to all cheers on eligible channels and use the bleed purple cheer mode. Oh, huh, interesting. Mystery novels? You mean those stories where someone gets killed and a detective tries to find out who the killer is? Right. That's a pretty broad way of putting it, but that's about right. Yes, reading mystery novels is a little hobby of mine. I say mystery novel, but there are many subcategories that fall under that genre. There are all sorts of things you can learn from these books and not just about prosthetics. You can even learn things that'll be helpful for surviving in situations like ours. What? Oh, like what? That's right. For example, cicadas are edible raw. I've also read that ants can be pretty tasty when they're boiled. What? Ugh, what kind of mystery is that? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? There are many different types of mystery novels. The mystery on this one is, why the fuck was I reading it? A trick involving edible and non-edible bugs was truly fantastic. <sighs> mm, I don't really want to read that book. The reading is really important, huh? Most books Sajiga was told to read were science-y, so there weren't many survival tips in them. Oh, can you tell me about the stories you like? Yeah. Sure, I could go on forever about mystery novels. This could go until morning, though. Mm. Uh, I'll try my best to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. If you get sleepy, you can sleep whenever you'd like. But 
not sleeping when you want to know what happens next makes mystery stories so great. Mamoru's being a meanie. Yeah, you, you can see the caretaker in those exchanges so much. Oh god, what's gonna happen when... Hey. Yeah, that's what's gonna... <laughs> I must have cancelled after I separated their room sounds. So they're not separate. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts. <clears throat> you think I'm a pain to deal with, don't you, Zen? Ah, uh, Elevate with 27 months with that Twitch Prime sub. Let me see some comments in chat for Elevate, please. Thank you so much. Cheers and welcome back. How you doing? Hey, that looks like thumbnail there, bud. Yep. What? <clears throat> Distract me long enough for this new stream pick. What's with the sound assumptions? Part of you was kind of a pain to deal with. See, you always make that exasperated face around me. So why do you spend time with me? <sighs> you don't even know. And the way you say things like that, it can be a pain too, you know. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Guess we're pretty fit for each other, huh? Oh, that's Good weird. Morning. Now for the alert. Oh! Weird. Guess I'll wait for that to actually go off. Look, Vegeta. It's a subscriber. There we go. Welcome back, Elevate, and thank you so much. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done. Nearly done-ish. Not nearly done. Done. Getting there too. Haruto got a little bit of work to do. It's not too bad though. All right, let's just separate you two. Um, <clears throat> should probably. Oh, you know what? No. They're gonna die anyway, so I don't need them to gain any stamina, so screw it. I'm leaving them in, and we're about to- Oh god, we're gonna max out a bunch of bonds. Oh no. It's about to be a softcore gilf show for like the next 10 minutes. Oh. Well, gotta get it through. Gotta, gotta do. Gotta do. Ryo Mikajime. I have a question for you. <sighs> What's up, Yuma? Can't sleep? You want me to cuddle, bind, or sing you a lullaby? Order now and get a free bondage session. Denied. None of the above. Do not rope me into your shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a try. So, what was the question? You can ask me anything from my blood type to my body measurements. No. I have no interest in either of those things. What I want to ask is whether anything troubles you. You seem especially carefree compared to the rest of the group. Yes, that's exactly how I greet you, Wolfmuck. I arranged it just to be like this. How you doing today? I want to know, how can you be like that in our current situation? What? Hold up. I have worries too, just so you know. Don't tell me. That cannot be. Okay. I can. Sometimes I'm so troubled by my thoughts, I can't get a wink of sleep. Thoughts like, why won't anyone let me tie them up? Uh, Good night. Hey! Hey, wait, 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 I'm being serious. This is my livelihood I'm talking about here. I'm an artist to the core, you know. It was my dream to etch my name in history through my art pieces. Hmm. And you're troubled because no one will help you make your art. Nope. Yeah. Then I'm sure that'll work itself out eventually. The bigger issue is, no matter how amazing a piece I make, there's no one in the world to speak of my legacy. And this, in my case, is about the meaning of my- or is about my meaning of existence. Oh? I may need to reconsider my perceptions about you. As for your dilemma, there is no need to worry. What? What? Yes. If you create a wonderful piece of art, I will always remember it. Fortunately for you, we seem to be immortal, so your art will live on inside me forever. Of course, this is assuming you create something worthy of such recognition. Yuma. That's right. Damn right I'll make something kick-ass that you'll love. Just you wait. Yes. 
Yes, we have plenty of time. I will wait for it, as long as it takes. All right! Now I'm getting pumped up. So I was hoping you could help me create my greatest work yet. <sighs> Good night. Denied. Uh-oh. I love it! <laughs> there you go! <clears throat> there you go. Oh, your body's so aesthetically pleasing, Yuma. I'm completely captivated. Mm. If you're trying to convince me to do bondage, I will have to pass. No. Well, you really do make my artistic soul rock hard, but it's not just about this. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it these days? Yeah. There's like a confidence people who truly understand beauty have. You're dripping with it. Oh. Look at me, Kajime. I see you have good taste. <laughs> oh god, we haven't had old Rick. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you you can you can um I mean you can share whatever you want within Reasonal Dar. You have um the sub badge and everything, so you're free to do it. I'm so comfortable when you're on my back like that, flower girl. <laughs> I'm just barely leaning on you. Hmm. You think I gave you more attention if you got all handsy like that? In that case... Nah, I'm just being mean. I guess these two meanies are fitting for each other, huh? Good morning. No, no, this is just a shift in crowd, Wolfenbach. Just a shift in crowd. Well. Almost done. Zen's done. Almost done. Yuma is done. Minimo's nearly done. Sanjika's nearly done. Okay. Well, Yuma's done, so she doesn't need to bunk with anyone anymore. Unless you want to see some old, uh, old Rio scenes. Those are all done too. I gotta, I gotta fill out the event list. <clears throat> Just saying. Well, the tactical advantage to bunking is not gonna matter because they're gonna die, and then I'm gonna have to bunk for uh, fresh gene stuff anyways. Let's forget about it. It just isn't possible for amateurs like us to make alcohol. We don't even have a way to make a fermenter for wine, so it's a lost cause anyway. Did they make us suffer with you for filling out the event list? Yeah! Yeah, I will as it happens! I'm pretty sure this is actually, actually on one of the pages in uh, the cookbook that I was sent. Oh god, for anyone who came in late, Bill sent me this. Yes, that is Snoop Dogg's From Crook to Cook. That is an actual thing he sent me. <laughs> it's been an interesting day. I'm actually looking forward to trying some of it. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, we might have been able to make some with corn. Let's see. Well, at least now we know why Yuma didn't want to tell us how to make it. Chewing the corn before making liquor is a traditional method used since the olden days. Naruto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Golden Witch. What did you walk into? Ah, uh, Snoop Dogg's From Crook to Cook, apparently. Also, old people social linking. You know. Take a deep breath and think about it for a sec. Picture it clearly and realistically in your head. Imagine chewing something and spitting it back out, then everyone drinks from it. What a perk. Ain't that gross? No way we could do that. You're oh, by the weird one. I die of embarrassment. Well, well, everyone has their limits, but yeah, let's drop this for now. Yeah. They were too old. I can't. I can't chew. I'm, I'm, I'm prime. It's just not working. We got that corn stuff. I bet it would reek of alcohol anyway. I can only drink sweet drinks like cocktails. Huh? What? Really? 
Oh. <laughs> there you go, judging a book by its cover again. No. I mean, you're clearly the dependable older sister type. You're self-assured and you can handle yourself around men, so I assume you had many life experiences. Aww. You must be blind or something. Uh. Two old people debating whether they could use it their teeth for the purpose of chewing corn to go <laughs> branded gummy wine. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm dying over here. I can't argue with that. What? You think I'm experienced? What about you, huh? You liberal arts students probably say all sorts of things to seduce girls, huh, you four-eyed perv? Hey! Hey, that's prejudice. Wait, Minamo. You seem drunk. Don't tell me you're getting drunk off the excitement of talking about alcohol. I bet you've always had girls lined up for you, huh? Must be because of those pervy glasses. Yeah. Hey! Hey, give me my glasses back. <laughs> you got a cute face under those glasses. Come here, let me pat you on the head. There, there. Sheesh. You're more childlike than I thought, Minamo. Hmm? You say something? No. Never mind. I got my glasses back. You're sobered up now, right? Let's go back to the room. Hey, Brad Fraser. Uh, enjoying rest time simulator? Yeah, we actually have nearly finished a bunch of people. Well, a couple people are done now. Ha ha ha. Give me a piggyback ride. Oh fuck, I'm too old for this shit. What about this? Well, on the bright side, we'll come back with a Shigibani for a broken back. No, oh, I just remembered. Have you been keeping at it? Huh? Keeping at what? Don't tell me. You know, maintenance for your prosthetics. Remember how I told you you'll need to do it every day? Or it could lead to big problems? Oh. oh my. Sounds like you forget. Well. I thought about doing it in the beginning. But it's just so much work. Don't. Sachika? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. No, no, no. come here. Okay. I know, but... I know you're only saying it because you're worried about me. And sometimes, I really hate looking at this arm and leg. When I'm all alone, feeling the coldness of these limbs, I just get so scared. Yeah. I see. I'm sorry, Sachika. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying sorry? I'm the one who messed up. No. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Nothing at all. <gasps> um, hey, what if you did it for me? What? Nice. No, no attempt to even cover on that one. I love that we left this one for last because we have so much more context for it. Yeah! I mean, you know so much about prosthetics and you don't get bored so quickly like I do. However... Yes, but that's... Uh, I'm sorry, I should uh, do it myself, huh? No. No, if you don't mind, I suppose it's not a problem. No problem! I'm fine with it, so it's okay. Sachiko would be happy if you did maintenance for me. Hmm. I see. Then I guess I'll go ahead and spoil you. That's yeah, let's spoil me. <laughs> my, my. What am I going to do with you? Or a broken hip? Oh, God. Okay, no point resting anyone together tonight because they're all going to die. Good morning. Oh, dear God, what have we done? <clears throat> Good morning, Haruto. <laughs> Feels a bit awkward, huh? It was easier last night because we were drunk. Yeah. And all we drank last night was water. What? I know that. <laughs> but you know, I was drunk off the mood of being alone with you. Yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. Right. Idiot. I'm thinking about it, you idiot. Ah, ah, there you go. There you go. Is that you good? You need to wipe yourself down. No, my God. Why? You need to wipe yourself down more. You catch a cold if you don't dry it properly. <laughs> I already tried off enough, Marmor. You worry too much. Hold on. Of course I worry about you. I wouldn't want you getting ill because of residual water. Oh. Well, I wouldn't want you getting sick either. I don't know. You may look strong, but you can be pretty delicate, so Sachika worries about you. Okay, at least it doesn't sound like they did anything. <laughs> Damn it, Rio! Whenever I exercise, I get hungrier than usual. This is an undeniable truth. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. Man, I'm really craving some ramen right now. Oh. <laughs> Yearning for the unattainable will only make you feel empty. Not that that will stop us. <sighs> Ramen, sushi, taiyaki. 
Mom. Macarons. Mom. Foie gras. Mind your hunt and peel your fists. <laughs> <laughs> I never had any of those things, but man, this is a really unsexy conversation, isn't it? Good morning. <sighs> they do not play out as kids. Uh, originally they did. That is actually the one thing they, um, the one thing they cut from the game, bring it over. <clears throat> Yum at all. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> well. It's the last night and everyone's gonna die and... Grade will lead to ruin. Well, yeah, that's way too heavy for her right now. Oh. Okay. Old people need to die. How to kill them. Ooh, you know what? We should respec when we bring everyone back so that no one has a reformer anymore because that's a bunch of wasted skill points because we've maxed everything out. All right, I need to just kill everyone. I can't think of any particularly effective quick Shigabani kind of ways. Shame a crab didn't show up. Could have used a truck crab to off them. Well... I think if we tactically kill them, though, there is one I can specifically get. For instance, I believe if I were to kill Haruto right now... Cleone! Mashiro's turn. I think if I kill him, he should get a uh, specific Shigabani right now because he's surrounded by people who love him. Wait, is he done with Zen? Pretty sure he's done with that. Yes. I've seen for 70 days, seven old people walked out of the door and exploded. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Come on, nuclear Haruto. I'll sacrifice my life! No, not now. There we go. He died while making everyone sad. I guess we'll hand over our points now. We're sitting on plenty. So, what to do with nearly a million points, huh? The answer is... There we go. Die with high affection while there were three survivors in the party. We'll spend 20,000 to reassign his skill points. The Haruto Mark 31. Let's take this. I'll hold it. Maybe this will come in handy. Okay. Next to die. Well, let's see. People in the group, I believe... Does Minimo love everyone in the group? Oh, right, Minimo loves everyone, so that's that's an easy pick. Alright, Minimo, um I'm counting on you, Cleone! I need you to blow up. Mashiro's turn. I apologize, but <clears throat> I need you to explode for me. Oh, they just reached hundred K? <laughs> The uh, the score has been shooting up dramatically, and this is this is with me throwing most of my points away too by just teleporting constantly. With my last shred Goodbye. Of Extend. I think she already got the uh, the one for making people sad, but I will say it's a fast uh, one point way to kill yourself. Everyone's getting skill points redone. The Mark 34 Minimo. Or I guess at this point, it's Minimo. 
The one crazy 100k point run? Well, the one we just turned in was 143,000 as well. Lucky me! I'll take it! Alright. Oh, thank you, Overlord Manga. Let's see, who am I going to blow up next? I'll have to give Yuma a Sil Burst and then blow her up. And Yuma, I think, loves everyone. Yes, she does. All right, let's teach her how to explode. Okay, Yuma. Behold. You have no. There you go. Mashiro's turn. Time to explode. Now, does Zen love everyone? Let's see, Minamo Haruto Yuma. No, we know Zen loves everyone. He was the first one to finish loving everyone. I still so got Zen? an ace up my sleeve. Actually, I'll need him to go after Yuma because I need to make sure there's a full party of people who, you know, love him when he dies. Tompix, I'm going to be a senior game designer at Red Hook Studios up in Vancouver, working on uh, Darkest Dungeon 2. Unleash! I failed. You never fail, Yuma. You are magnificent and perfect. 